tonight dive is quite special. Not many people recognize those particular pieces of equipment, like the Technis wetsuit with the yellow hood top, or the yellow full foot fins. For me that means the only thing. Ivana, my wife, is joining me on this dive. We are going to check a place where the coastal reef covered with kelp ends and meets the sandy bottom. After a surface swim to the island we submerge. At once we are meeting this school of small silverfish. I will talk about them later, on our way back to the shore. Now we are in a hurry, crossing the large field of kelp. We want to get to the outer edge of it, where the reef meets the sand. We are almost there. We cannot resist and stop to check this cute puffer fish. It is not interested, it hides from us in the kelp. Finally we are here. We meet goatfish. They feed on the sand, but find shelter in the reef. Note how strong Ivana's tiny torch appears to be. It is quite dark. My camera compensates for that, so it looks like it is not that dark. But even this little source of artificial light shows how dark it is underwater. While we play with goldfish and young snappers, there is a more serious action going on above us. Two kingfish came to check the intruders into their realm. Ivana continues exploring gutters and tiny overhangs in the reef. We are looking for crayfish or an octopus, but with no luck today. Now this is a real surprise. A moray eel. And in the open. And I ruined the shot. I stopped so suddenly that Ivana hit me from behind. That shook the camera and also scared the eel. It disappeared among the rocks. Only the snappers stayed with us. We continue searching the bottom, but we cannot find any more unusual animals. Our air reserve is getting low, so we are ascending above that big field of kelp. There we are met by those schools of tiny silver fish that I mentioned earlier. Their movements remind me of a dance. Well, I don't dance, so what do I know? We stay with them for a while, and then slowly ascend. We are still quite far away from the shore. We swim with our heads underwater for a while. Once on the surface we realize how dark it is. So let's get quickly to the beach, while we still can see. <laughs> 